similarity is three-fourths. What is the ratio for the perimeters? Yes, I don't have these I can't tell if you're saying it with a question mark or if you're saying it as an answer. Chris is saying his as an answer. So, I mean, think about this tree, three, three, even though it's not true, right? Four, 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 like, yeah. So, three fours. If you know your linear scale factor, that's going to hold true to your perimeter scale factor. So if the perimeter figure eight is P all the way around, and the linear scale factor now is R, then what would be the perimeter of figure P? Would you say P? Uh, no. These no, different A. Leave A when you go to B. Forget about it. Now the linear scale factors are public relations, PR, or RP, roll point. And if the area of A is little a, and the linear scale factors are, what is the area of figure B? Linear scale factor squared. Beth is creating a wildflower garden, and she is going to build a flower bed in the shape of a hexagon. Now, why a hexagon and not a square? No, we talked about this in class. Colin. Because it has more. And also because she wants a bigger 
It maximizes the area, and she doesn't like you, so. Okay, I don't like her And that's why it maximizes the area. Well, okay, so squares can also fit together perfectly. They can also tessellate, but a hexagon using the same edge lengths will have more area, and not like, not like, four edges of ten compared to five edges of ten. I mean, four edges of ten compared to a hexagon with perimeter 40 has more area. Like, so to make sure we really understand, like, not that that's a huge piece, but the same perimeter has a higher area when you go hexagon. So, each side of the flower bed will be one yard. What will be the area of the garden? How do we solve problems dealing with regular polygons? What have we been doing over the last three days? That's why I wanted to make you explain yourself. Remember those simple mistakes you were making yesterday? I'm still doing the same thing. So, if we use special right triangles, your height is rad 3 of your short leg. Well, your long leg is rad 3 of your short leg. Yeah? Hey, can we, real quick, can we remind ourselves of how the hypotenuse relates to the short leg in the 36 and 90? Yeah. Twice, right? Twice. Twice. Remember your rules because 60 is twice of 30. Just kind of try to put that in your Not that that relates directly like the 60 degree and the 30 degree, but your hypotenuse. I kind of threw that one. I, it just started to fall. Usually, the yes, usually your hypotenuse is also one. Did you not take that away from me? I do, but that was just. That was a bad fumble. So I would. Um, what was that I was saying? Oh, is that math counts? I don't think anybody saw this. I was going to try to find that broomstick because a kid dropped their phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm funny. like texting. I like fumble my phone. It was like one of those like lefty, right? And like, oh, I caught it. Because nobody saw it. Well, I, I dropped my phone. I was just when you were walking in front of the Yeah. Oh, I, I saw remember that. how I shattered my phone that one time? I don't remember that happened. I was happened. walking to school and I just dropped it. just slid out of my hand. It just went straight down on the ground mm -hmm. and outside like the door. Like and then. Once you get to 72 and turn to somebody and talk. Oh, okay. Don't want to know. Yeah, but there's someone that there's circles. Yeah, there's circles. I mean, there's circles, so it's kind of obvious. Oh, yeah. Why? You're crazy. Yeah. They're all the same. They're just bigger. I know. We have to find them. We have to leave them behind. So, as Governor's getting frustrated, I need to prove. That a circle is similar to a circle. It's just common knowledge. Yeah, it's hard to prove. Right approved, I like circle. All perfect circles are similar to these. So that's a real easy one. Okay. 
one hundred three thousand dollars. The work seventy three. Okay. Hey, Colin's making hypothesis because he was back on 73's and out for a second. He said, well, he almost misspoke, but then he, he had a conversation. All circles are similar, or all squares. Yeah. 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 Right? Because they all have to abide by the same rules. If all sides have to be the same, all angles have to be 90 degrees, they're all similar. So, are all rectangles similar? No. Uh, some people are following me. Are all, hold on, give me another type of shape. Regular, regular end gun, right? Yeah, regular end gun. Regular end gun is on purpose. Yeah, and remember a circle is like that infinity gun in a way. So, I was trying to think about this because I think it was in this class that we were talking about a circle is made up of infinitely many, like, tiny straight lines. Yeah. Think about the earth. Now, I get the earth is not perfectly circular. But when you walk outside and you're standing on flat ground, no, you're not. So then, so I, I was discussing this with somebody, and they were like, well, no, like, that's not true, because I like, made that statement. They're like, no, and my friends just like to argue with me. It's, you can make flat ground yeah. on a round object, right? So if you had a circle, you could like build up. So here's the Earth, right? We could build up a giant skyscraper that would, now that'd be really wide and really tall, right? That would then actually be flat. But so then I asked the question, well, what does flat represent? Which, I mean, I don't have a great answer for this. Wait, a line parallel to what? So like a line parallel to the, um, Clear? Uh, Maybe? I don't know. Oh, okay. Because. I kind of agree. <laughs> so, we just had an interesting conversation about what is flat. Well, okay. So, what is flat? Well, is one, I think. Well, and I they have the conversation of why point 9 equals 1. Yeah. We, I mean, and, well, like, I don't know if you've been part of it, but I've, we've had that conversation with people before. It doesn't equal 1. But you can never get to the 1 again. Yeah. So here's, there are infinitely many zeros in between the decimal place and the one. Right? So that means that one is one over, because what decimal place is it in? It is one, one infinity of. But if the zeros never stop, then how does the one stay? It doesn't. So, this is one of those conceptually and definitively doesn't quite agree because if you can't count infinity, you can't reach that one, so you can't take it off of your number. <laughs> so, is it really not one or is it really not point? Like, that's oh. where the, the discussion comes in, where people have fun saying like, oh, well, it's equal even though they're not equal. Because if it's point nine repeating forever, then the amount of difference between it and one is one, one infinity. Right? The difference between it and one is one over infinity. Because the decimal place that it's in is the last, quote unquote, furthest away decimal place, which you can't ever get to. Remember how I tried to find the end of 
Yeah. Anyone watch Clover Kid in Paradise yet? No. 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 Uh, I don't know if it's middle school appropriate or not. It's on Netflix. It's interesting. Yeah, so, I've seen, I've seen Orange is the New Black. I'm sorry, Charlie. Have you seen Orange is the New Black? I don't know. The, this one is they're trying to create free energy, like yeah. where the, the reaction produces yeah. more energy and goes into it. Yeah, with the massive um, like collider. Yeah, or so, something. Uh, uh, I, I don't know exactly. You probably know more than I would. So, yeah. so yeah, and they, they crash the missions together by accident. Um, I feel like I need to go back and watch Clark Lewis or something. Because when I have to watch is I need to watch Clark Lewis. Timothy Chalamet is really good. You need to watch it. So if you watch Clark Lewis, you'll need to go back and watch it again. Like a few years from now. Like multitasking, like staying focused, you know, like trying to be down. Or if you try to multitask, it won't go very well. Like when I tried to watch it in grade papers, it's like I find myself. Isn't that what Paul was like? Uh, well, what was that teacher's name? It was supposed to be funny. Mr. Mr. No. Mr. Link, I think. Yeah, something. I made some of his remarks in the day, his TV show, like his cooking work. I wrote it down. I was like, wait, what the hell? Up late? Yeah, Mr. Up late. That was his uh, name. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> Remember, n minus 2 times 180, always. So 3 times 180, we get 540. That's going to equal to 250 plus 90 plus 2x. Take away the 340, we get 200 equals 2x. Each x is... A hundred. A hundred. A C note. A C note. A C note. I guess. It's, 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 it's just like a, a phrase. Like, like a C note is a hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Are you allowed to hot glue? What do we do with the expressions in here? Yeah, set them equal. Alternate x here, set them equal and solve. Well, at least I get two grades. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can I say something? Yeah. So, because of how every single time we have a regular hexagon, can't we just now assume that all regular hexagons will have the same if it's a regular hexagon, then yeah, because you know it's composed of six congruent triangles. Yeah. And then you know special right triangle rules, right? Radical three. You know, you know, I'm good. I have my conversation hearts to keep me alive. All the conversation. It's all good. Christy, tire spring, 24 centimeter closed loop. Can you call me fool? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's from twenty two. Long leg, not necessarily height, but long leg is rad three, the short leg. Okay. 
and the hypotenuse is double. So, funny that you bring that up, because a problem from the lesson, and you, you don't have to do it or anything, just give me your attention for like two seconds. A problem from the lesson here has this triangle in part B. If we pay attention to A for 30, 60, 90, this leg would be... Yeah, so 6 times rep 3, this leg would be, or the hypotenuse would be 12, which means that scale factor here is 3. 3. Oh. Yeah. So then if we know the area of this triangle, area scale factor would be 9. Okay. Is that it, right? Wait, what is it? Is it I? Where's pi on this calculator? Uh, I know there's oh, one in a minute. I found it. It's like in there. Um, because we already talked about the one at the perimeter scale factor, we're good there. Real quick, what's the scale factor between the areas? 90? 9. 9? Like times 9? So what is the linear scale factor? Three. Alright, you guys can. So we can start to do proofs that lead us to that. Take a triangle of 888, right, because you've got 24 centimeters. Find the area of that. Take a square, 6666, find the area of that. Take a pentagon with side lengths of like 4.8 or whatever it comes out to be. A hexagon, the more sides you create, the more maximized your area is. So a hexagon is better than a pentagon. A septagon is better than Octagon is it? So you just keep getting better and better. Circle is your best area. Now, but on the same vein as that, it makes it difficult when you look at like, what if I need to punch circles out of something? Because circles can't tessellate, right? So that becomes slightly problematic. It's like you know, almost like the art of things is like they have to. Yeah, there's no still get a constant okay, amount. This is actually really weird. You get extra credit. I mean, there are some really broken schools in America. Exactly. Really messed up teachers. Yeah, Dude, <laughs> our teachers used to give us extra credit for like doing crap for them, like them personally, not them like as a teacher. Oh, really? But, like, this is an exaggeration, but it's like, if I pull my car around back, if you wash it, I'll give you 20 extra points on the exam. Like, wow. like crap like that I'm used down. to fly in public school. Right. Like, go clap the erasers, I'll give you 10 points. When they were fine, they just couldn't touch rotor fingers or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, in elementary school, we used to, like, when we were older, you couldn't touch the ice cream and the snow and stuff because we were, when they you landed in the elementary school, yeah, yeah. it was pretty great. But that's different. That's not like extra. <laughs>